And so in this video, we want to look at file sharing in Parallels to Desktop 4.0 format. In the last video, we looked at uh, coherence, madly, full screen, window mode in Windows XP Professional. Today, we'll be looking at file sharing. Now, upon installing Windows XP, I've showed you how you can access your um, actual hard disk for your Windows operating system on your Mac and I showed you the parallel sharing folder here. Let's look at this parallel shared folder. When you click it, it opens up all the it opens up a file that or a window that contains all the directories or files that you are currently sharing with your Mac. The first thing by default I've chosen to share my home folder which allows me to have access to my desktop on my Mac. I can access my uh, movies on my Mac, my music on my Mac. All of these folders are coming off my Mac. These are my Mac folders, my music and pictures and so forth. And I have access to that. Now what if you want more specifics? Like what if you want a disk here. I have one of my uh, hard disks inserted here and if I wanted to I could say I could either go to devices and we'll look at that. What we want to do is let's go ahead and let's go to configure Oh, we can go ahead and add a shared folder here. So once you're in the shared folders, what you want to do is you, and here this is also where you have access to disable or enable the share Mac OS 10 folders with Mac, with Windows, I should say. And I want to add a, a sharing point. I'm going to add my ISO files hard disk. We can add a description and make it read only if we want it. We'll say OK. And if we get out of this and we go back in it now, or if we go to the the my computer, we have we see here the ISO files. Now these are also part of the network drive. So in Windows XP or Windows Vista, all of these are titled as their as network drives, but you don't have to look at it that way. They're physically on in the virtual machine, but they're recognized as network uh, drives. We have access to our ISO, our disk, our virtual machine, our Mac virtual machines, our Windows virtual machines, and so you can share your. Uh, devices and, and, and folders and so forth. Another thing you can do is you can, um, like we showed in the previous videos, you can go ahead and create folders and drag them from your Mac. Let's get it out the way. Copy them into your Windows XP, which went really quick. Or if you're if you prefer, you can open up something like Notepad. We can open up Pages in our Mac. And we can say, this is a new text document. And what we could do is we can select this. We can say Copy. We can go into our notepad and we can say paste and see how easily and quickly that copy that. So you share the clipboard with your Windows, your operating system, and with Mac. You may also, if you prefer, share pictures and video or any other file. So what do we want to um, copy this PNG image of the Microsoft 64-bit logo? We put that in there. It opens up, and there we go. Our Microsoft 64 bit logo. This is a clear example of how quickly you can copy, paste, or move text, images, or files around 
the operating system with between your Windows your other operating systems in Mac if we shut down here well we want to go to shut down and we'll go ahead and we're gonna right click once this gets shut down we're gonna right click our Windows XP professional and we're gonna view its contents so in case you want access to some of your virtual machines files but it's not started up you can say show package contents you can view the applications and here's another thing in parallels you're going to be shown the icons and if you click them it will start up the virtual machine and automatically run those applications as well as the hard disks you may right click and open this up and you can view the contents and this is just another way in which you in which you can clearly get access to your virtual machines files even when it's not started up so let's go back and we'll say start and we can go ahead and configure what if we wanted to add another sharing folder such as our let's add our music no let's add our pictures folder let's add another sharing folder we'll add our home folder we'll add that we'll say ok we'll say start and once this gets started up here we'll go ahead and get access to our folders so you obviously can access your Mac files on your Windows operating system or your Windows files on your Mac operating system whether the virtual machine is running or not and this is very good if you have specific text documents or images or music or anything that you need and you want to get access to it. look how fast that started up I think that has something to do with the fact that this is a fresh operating system and we haven't done anything on it that's probably why it went so fast anywho let's go ahead and open up our parallel sharing folder and we see the ISO files folder the pictures in the Microsoft 64 bit home folder which is similar to the home folder here our pictures and look we have access to our pictures on our Mac these are these are all files coming off my Mac here's a nice image of our old logo Microtosh DOS slash Microtosh 64 bit and so that's sharing um, folders it's very nice and very useful um, and if you go into the my computer you can also have access to that under network drives and so that's it for this video in the next video we're going to be discussing devices and we're going to uh, we're going to be taking a nice look into how you can use your CDs and so forth and I'll talk about um, some more questions that you might have for uh, parallels desktop support for devices and so forth. So that's it for this video.